Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to give you guys my opinion for the best video editor for low-end or budget PCs. So the video editing program I'm going to go with for this video is Filmora, and I think there's a couple really solid reasons for this. The number one thing is that making edits in Filmora is quick and relatively painless. So for instance, if I click over here and I want to split the clips, it's control B and you notice how fast the response time is between when I hit control B and when it actually responded. That's a big deal because in some video editor programs, if you don't have a monster PC, there might actually be a bit of lag there. Now the speed of Filmora also applies when you drop in special effects. So you have a lot of different transitions to work with here by default. Um, and some of these are actually pretty good. So. I have a transition here in this video I was editing. It's a simple blinds. So as I'm scrubbing this clip, you can see pretty much no lag and we can go ahead and play Hello it as everybody. well. Chris here and in this video, I even though I haven't exported the video yet and it's still in the editor, the special effects play pretty much flawlessly as if it was an exported video. In many video editors, when you try to apply special effects over your video and they haven't been fully exported yet, uh, those special effects will really run slow and choppy in your video editor. And from the perspective of speed, we can also do a quick export here. So I'm just going to create a video. We're going to export it as 720p. I will uh, just put it in the default output folder. Let's do an export and let's just see how long this takes. All right, so for me, that was just over about a minute in order to export. And yes, it's a 85 megabyte file. There weren't a lot of extra uh, audio tracks or anything like that going into it. So overall, it wasn't a huge export, but the speed was pretty fast for video. Uh, for the record, so that you guys can compare, I'm using a older laptop. It's called the Y510P by Lenovo. It's actually about a three or four year old laptop at this point. So I think that's enough on the point of speed. So let's just take a look at some of the other things that Filmora has to offer. Of course, you have plenty of different video transitions. You also have filters that you can apply over your video footage, uh, which is actually something that a lot of people who are more uh, on the casual consumer side of video editing are going to really dig here. And then we also have overlays and elements, which are basically graphics that can go on the screen and you can change the text. Um, and of course, different title sequences, which range from ones that take up the full screen to transparent ones, which are supposed to go over your other video files. And of course, I think it's worth mentioning, I'm a pretty big fan of the dark skin here. They do have a light skin, which we can toggle on and off, uh, but I always go with the dark color schemes for any programs I like to use. And the UI itself is uh, relatively straightforward. I don't think there's a lot people are going to get confused on here. But the main thing that most people are ever going to have to do with splitting clips is, well, just using the split function there. A lot of other stuff that you would get in Adobe Premiere probably aren't going to need to be used by the average video editor. That said, Adobe Premiere is a more powerful program. But for computers that are on the lower or mid side, kind of like mine, um, having all that extra power does come at a cost, which means that your videos may take a little longer to edit because you're waiting on clips to move around or adding a special effect in it for it to load completely. Now that said, there are far worse offenders of that than Adobe Premiere, but I do think Filmora is a really solid uh, kind of entry level video editor that is going to be targeted more at those lower end or budget PCs. So thanks for watching. I've been Chris. I hope this video has given you enough information and I will see you guys in my future video content.